Hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Are you ready for another story today? A book for Puchku. That's going to be today's story. The author of the story is Deepanjana Paul and the illustrator is Rajiv Aipe. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. So this is Puchku. She's looking for a book in a library, looks like it. Let's see what's happening in the story. Puchku, have a bath. Puchku, eat your food. The tap is on, and the water is flowing out. And Puchku is busy reading a book. So someone is screaming, take a bath. Same in the dining room. There is a plate in front of her. But instead of eating, she is reading a book. Puchku, go to class. Puchku, get on the bus. Puchku, do your homework. So it looks like Puchku needs to be reminded about everything because she is instead busy reading a book. So her mom is probably saying, go to class, get on the bus. The bus is already here or finish your homework or else your teacher might scold you. Where is Puchku? Her mom is now searching. Where is Puchku? Puchku is happily reading another book. Puchku is busy. She has a book to read. Puchku reads all the time. At home, in school, in the park, in bed. Page after page, book after book, one by one. She has read them all. She loves to read. So she reads all the time, whether she's at home or at school, whether she's in the park or in the bathroom or in the bed, wherever it is, she likes reading a book. And she has finished reading them all. Why are you always reading, Puchku? Asks Boltu. Come, watch a cartoon instead, says Dodla. So her friends, Boltu and Dodla are saying, why are you reading books all the time? Come, watch cartoons with us. Books are so much more fun, says Puchku. Look, you see a circle and the straight line? Push it in, pull that out, and it becomes a letter. Line up the letters and you have a word. Words can be wise, words can be funny, words can be sad, and words can be sunny. When you put words together, they make sentences, and sentences become stories. Read it, and whoosh, you are in another world. She really seems to be loving it. She loves reading. So she says, they are so much more fun than cartoons. When you start reading books, you are as if going and living in a different world. You are in a, the world of the books. I agree with her. Don't you all? Books are a lot of fun. Reading books is one of the best hobbies that anyone can have. But today, Puchku is in a fix. She has run out of books to read. All the books that she could reach in the library, she has read from chapter one to the end. Ah, uh, now Puchku is in a fix. What does it mean? She's in trouble. She's having some problem. What is the problem? She has read all the books in the library that she can reach. She has finished reading them all and she doesn't know what to do now. What will I do? No more books to read, wails Puchku. Wails loudly crying. She loudly cries and says, what will I do now? I have no other books to read. Wait, 
What's that over there? Puchku looks up and sees not one, not two, but three more shelves full of books. More books, Puchku whispers in delight. So just when she was crying out aloud, saying, what will I do now? I don't have any more books. She just looks up and she sees that there are three shelves full of books that she has not read. There is still one problem though. She is too short and the bookshelf is too tall. How can Puchku get up there? Now that one problem is solved, now she has found a lot of books to read. Her second problem now is, how will she reach those shelves? Puchku is too short and the bookshelves are so tall. How is she going to reach those shelves now? Maybe she can use a washing line or mass sari to climb. How about the chairs and tables in the room? So now she's thinking of ways to reach the shelf. She's thinking, shall I go get a washing line? Washing line is a line where you hang clothes. It's a clothes line. Probably use the washing line and climb to reach those shelves. Or the next idea she's thinking of is, shall I go get my mother's sari? And then start climbing. How about using all the chairs and tables? Put them one on top of the other and see if I can reach the shelves. It would really be helpful, thinks Puchku, to have a giraffe at hand, even a monkey or both. Oh, now she thinks probably it will be nice to have a giraffe. Giraffes have long legs and a tall neck, right? So giraffes can easily reach those shelves. And the next idea she gets is, is probably I could have a monkey. Monkeys can climb anywhere and everywhere, right? They climb trees like that. They can climb these shelves and get books. Probably it's nice to have both of them. So the giraffe will also get some books and the monkey will also get some books. Puchku has a plan. She calls Boltu and Dodla for help. As quiet as they can, they climb on top of each other. Boltu, you're heavy, Dodla complains. Told you not to eat that last rasgulla. It's not me, Boltu hisses. It's Puchku. Shh, almost there, says Puchku. Just then, it all goes wrong. So now, Puchku has a, a plan, an idea. What she does is, she gets her friends, Boltu and Dodla. She says, we'll climb one on top of another and let me see if I can reach those shelves. Dodla is at the bottom and Boltu climbs on top of Dodla and then on top of it, Puchku climbs. Just when she's about to reach the shelf, what happens? Something goes wrong. Let's see what goes wrong. Ah! What happened? Both Dodla and Boltu have fallen down while Puchku is holding on to one of those shelves at the top. What is happening here? It is the very tall librarian. She puts Puchku down. Boltu and Dodla run away. Puchku looks up sadly at the book she almost had in her hand. Can I help? asks the very tall librarian. When all this noise is created, the librarian immediately comes there and she asks, what's happening here? Boltu and Dodla immediately, they run away. Puchku is sad. She thought she can grab one of those books but she had to let it go. Now the librarian asks, can I help you in some way? I was trying to climb the bookshelf. I have run out of books to read, says Puchku sadly. Why didn't you say so, says the very tall librarian. 
As long as I am around, you do not have to climb a bookshelf. May I pick you up? Puchku nods. So Puchku then says, I was trying to reach one of the top shelves because I have run out of books to read. All the lower shelves, I have finished reading. Then the librarian says, why didn't you tell me that? I could have helped you. So she picks up Puchku and tries to get books for her. I will take this and this and this one too, says Puchku happily. Thank you. Take this one too, says the very tall librarian. When I was small, I loved this book. The tall librarian picked up Puchku and she's all excited. She's picking up this book, that book, and she says, I'll take this also, I'll take that also. And the librarian also suggests one more book saying that when she was young, she used to love that book. You were small once? Puchku asks. Oh yes, even smaller than you, says the very tall librarian. But then I grew and so will you. Until then, all you need to do is ask for a book and I'll be here to give it to you. Such a nice librarian, right? So she says, I was in fact smaller than you when I was young. So I grew up like that, you will also grow up. Whenever you need a book, all you have to do is let me know and I can help you with it. But is Puchku listening? No, she is not. She is inside her book through a circle and a line and a letter and another. Then a word and another, a sentence and another, and now a story. Because Puchku has a new book. So she's not listening anymore. What she's now engrossed in the books now she has got from her library. She's busy reading them. Did you like this story? This is such a wonderful story, right? Let us look at some of the difficult words in today's story, a book for Puchko. Wails to make a long high cry. Loudly cry, that's what is wails. In a fix, in a difficult situation. Run out means used up. So you are done with whatever you had in hand, you have completely used it up. That's called a run out. Washing line. It means a rope or a wire where you hang clothes. Try these. Do you like reading books or listening to stories? Why do you like them? Which book or story did you like the most? Can you write a short summary of that story? I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time, bye.